Um, thank you. We'd also wanted to, uh, in addition to providing a couple of updates, we needed to take action um, because this has created a situation where there are some expenditures that are non-budgeted items that are exceed the authority that President Williams has. And so uh, Ms. Gardner and Dr. Williams and I talked yesterday about the appropriate resolution and scope of authority for her powers. And we wanted to present two things to you this morning. One is the specific purchase and acquisition from HonorLock, which is the system that will handle online testing. And the second is a board resolution, so we don't have to regularly come back if these other items pop up. Um, so with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Williams to discuss the honor lock proposal. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I, I really appreciate you guys coming, um, getting up for this meeting. It's it's important to us and, and we work as a good team. And thank you so much again, um, uh, Chair Cole, you have just been amazing, and I appreciate that. So we, um, for, for the call um, to order, we have um, four board members here along with us. Um, uh, I don't know, Chair Cole, if you want to say anything else on call to order. We've started. We move on. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it. Did I say it before we began recording? <laughs> no, we were recording, so we're good. Okay. We're no, good. we're good. You All right. Move on. So as we moved into online um, instruction as well as support services for the entire college, we realized that we do not have the um, software that's going to help us with proctoring for exams. Um, prior to this uh, illness that we're going through right now as a country, we had students coming in for midterms and finals, even if they took coursework online. Well, we can no longer do that, especially um, with the space needed and, and us not being open for service on campus. So we needed to hire a company to help us monitor students online using the camera on their computers um, to ensure that they themselves are taking the test, make sure ac academic integrity continues, and also make sure that they meet the criteria and they're not cheating. So. Um, we've looked at a couple of co companies and came up with HonorLock, and HonorLock was the best price for us, and it's for the entire year for all of our students, which helps us a great deal. Um, it exceeds the 325 threshold of approval by me. It's 338, and we talked them down to 338. Um, and so we're asking the board's permission to um, engage in this contract so that we can go ahead and get our online instruction um, straightened out. We're going to end up doing online classes this summer as well. And so we really need some support there. So I'm asking the board's permission. So move, Madam Chair. Thank you, Trustee Gibbons. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I do want, thank you all, I do want to highlight one of the conversations Dr. Williams and I had was just the overall impact to the budget and what this is going to look like. And obviously, we don't know that yet, um, but from a reserve standpoint, we do have reserves, which is, which is a good thing, but um, we, you know, I've asked her to have Ms. Hunt and her team continue to track that. They're obviously in the throes of looking at next year's budget as well. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully, you know, we'll once they get a handle on some thoughts and forecasts, um, they'll pass that along to us. Is that an Thank appropriate you. recap, Dr. Williams? Yes, but we have one surprise. Um, Yesterday, the foundation agreed to pay 300000 of this cost. Um, Yay. And, so, and so it looks like oh, we made awesome. that is fantastic. Um, and so um, Jesse had been working on this, and they have the funding to pay 300000 towards the 338. So we're looking at our Perkins funds, um, and we have sought um, approval to get the 38 out of Perkins. So this would not necessarily hit the um, operating budget, Chair Cole, 
And so we're very happy with that. We're looking every purchase, we're looking at ways to utilize existing funds without going into operating funds as much as possible. Thank you, and please pass our regards on to um, the foundation board as well. This is exactly the type of cooperation we've all been hoping for after, out in the past few years. Yes, yes, will do. So we had a first and a second, all in favor. I don't know if we, did we do that part? We did that, yes. Okay, perfect, yeah. sorry. All right, and then the, the next item is seeking the board's permission to increase the threshold for the authority of the president to make critical decisions in a timely manner with the virus going on, things are moving faster than the speed of light, um, to increase that from 325 to 500,000 with the board chair's um, involvement and approval as well, like making sure I'm not just still making the decision solely by myself with that, going to the chair of the board and making sure that the board is made aware, um, seeking that authority. This particular situation, we really need to get it done last week. I think I tried to reach uh, Chair Cole then and she luckily responded. And so we got honor lock to hold a little bit to, to get us to this date for approval. And so we're asking for approval from the board to allow the threshold to increase to 500,000, even if it's just for this time um, for the, the crisis we're going through um, with the board chair's um, involvement and approval. What's the uh, timeline we're gonna uh, look at for that as far as this language is concerned? You know, Chair Stone Cipher, I, I don't know how long this virus is gonna last, um, but if we could do it through the end of the summer term at least, maybe that will help us some, hopefully. Um, or till the end of July? Um, yeah, well, I, I'd propose we do till the end of the summer term and then revisit it if necessary, just so that there's a time frame to, to look at it again. Very um, good point. So, Thank you. so Ms., Mr. Stonecipher, is your, 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 um, is that a, are you making a motion? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll move to approve um, the $500,000 threshold to be revisited at the end of summer term 2020. I will second that motion as long as the, as the motion has a sunset date at the end of July or summer term. So that okay. so that if if nothing happens, if nothing is needed, that it that that it only goes through the summer term, and then we can talk about it. Agreed. Agreed. Got it. Uh, Sorry, we didn't yep. catch that yesterday when we were looking at this. I think in yes, my mind, I've been looking yeah, at Yeah, because it. I just don't want, Madam yeah. Chair, I just don't want for us to open a can of worms and it's open forever. I um, agree. It has nothing to do with this president, but it could be any other person could be yeah. president. And you got to open doors. Uh, so, Trust so as long as it's sunset, I'm fine. Yeah, I agree with everyone. And that's why I brought it up, even if it's just through this crisis, because I'm not asking for it forever. I just know with this situation, it's moving quickly. Um, Rebecca, can I bother you to find out when the summer term ends the actual date so that we can make sure the board is aware it's through from now through this date when the summer term ends? Can you look that up for us? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we'll come back for it. We don't need it. We don't need it for purposes of voting because okay. we said it and whatever okay. date is, that, that, that's right. it. So it doesn't matter. We okay. can go ahead and vote. And then, um, Ms. Gardner, if you can revise that resolution and send it, and I'll sign it after it's revised as amended. Yes, as, yes, I will. Okay, thank you. So uh, there's a second, there's a motion to amend, technically we should take two votes here. Let's approve the amendment to, uh, or let's vote on the amendment um, as proposed by Mr. Sonecipher as in the friendly amendment by Mr. Gibbons. So all in favor of the amendment to sunset this power at the end of the summer term, say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
And then is there a motion on the amended resolution? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you all very much. Um, you, everyone. Can I ask a question? Sure. Do we have any reason to believe that there's going to be an, a $500,000 expense between now and the end of the summer term? Actually, um, we don't know, Chair Bello, but the things are popping up so quickly. Um, and we just want to make sure that we're prepared. We have no idea what's going to happen. Okay. I, I just didn't know if there be... was something out there or why that number was chosen or what we should be bracing ourselves for. <laughs> I think well, it was just a, a number that was in anticipation because most of the expenses that th these would be unbudgeted expenses, first of all. And second of all, it would be um, technology. I, I would imagine it's either going to be technology related or physical location related, which tend to be more expensive. So, got it. I agree. Okay. Um, so the the last thing in your board packet are just copies of the executive orders, which um, become out of date every six hours or so, it, it seems, but these are the most recent ones. And just a follow-up from our last meeting, um, the after uh, Ms. Gardner reached out to the Chancellor and Department of Education attorneys, Department of Education um, worked with the Attorney General's office to get some clarification on the permissibility of the telephonic meetings. And further, the DOE um, asked to not have any meetings, period, except emergency meetings, which is frankly in line with um, Dr. Williams and my conversation. I, did, I had recommended to her previously to strip down any agendas that we needed, any actions we needed to take and not have presentations. In my opinion, the staff did not need to be distracted with preparing for a board meeting. They need to be focused on the evolution of how to get these students um, online and virtual learning. So that's just for your information, those um, as a follow-up to the last meeting. And unless and until there are other actions that we need to take, we will not have a meeting. That being said, um, I know Dr. Williams is committed to reaching out to us on a regular basis and sending up updates as to how the online learning is going. She and I also spoke over the weekend and, and yesterday about the potential of a complete shelter-in-place order. Um, over the weekend, we thought it was much more likely. Today, maybe not. We're not sure. Um, but the staff is working on what that would look like for the college um, and how they would accommodate the students who have required on-campus classes, um, how, the, how they would do that. So they all are working tirelessly to figure that out as a contingency. Is there yes. any, are there any questions? I have a comment, Chair Cole, if that's okay. Yes, please. Okay. Um, we have been working with each um, division that has any activity on campus about how would we work if we could not access the building. And we've narrowed it down to a couple of things per, per division that's a challenge. And IT has been working feverishly to help us address those challenges. But there are some things because of the timing of the year that I'm going to need the board's involvement and approval when we talk about the contract renewals we should be doing that uh, in, in April. That'll be coming up shortly, um, as well as the budget. We're going to need to spend some time um, on the budget. We're waiting on the governor to uh, finish uh, approving or whatever he's going to do with that budget. And we're looking at what our enrollment may look like. It's very nimble right now. Um, for the summer, we're still looking at online because we do not know 
what is going to happen in summer starts in May. So summer is right around the corner. Um, we also are looking at postponing our graduation ceremony. Um, many colleges have done it. We don't want to cancel, but we may have graduation in July for both spring and um, summer students. So we'll be bringing that back. And then we need to really look at things like um, I'm slowing up on hiring new staff and looking at ways to keep the budget in shape and making good uh, financial decisions. So we probably, I'll be sending you information on it, but I think that the board is gonna wanna talk about some of those things from time to time as well. So I just wanna make sure you're not left out in the dark and not able to meet as a group to talk about the um, issues at hand. And that would be my report for today. Any other questions about anything going on? Comments, concerns? Lots of concerns, but none of them are related to <laughs> leadership of the college. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Trustee Bell, I can follow up with you if there are other concerns that we could talk through. I'll be happy to do that. No, that's why I said none with the oh, okay. college. I'm okay. With concerns right now. It's a weird world. Okay. Thank you both for your leadership. Thank you. Thank you, you all know. for hanging there. It's an odd time for everyone, but um, we appreciate it. And I, as I try to tell Dr. Williams, and I know she passes on all the time. Thank you so much to the administration and staff and faculty and everyone for all of the um, amazing work. I mean, in 10 days, really in five days to get everybody up and running for virtual school is unprecedented. And, um, you know, the, the evolution of that is, is really impressive. So we appreciate it all. Well, thank you okay. so much. So, okay, with that, we will adjourn. All right, have all a great right. time, everybody be safe. Okay, thank you all, yeah. bye. 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 Bye.